Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we will uh, learn about quantizing and encoding. Quantizing and encoding in PCM. Okay, so in detail we will see how the quantization and encoding happens in PCM. Okay, if you are first time to my channel, please consider subscribing and encourage me to do more videos like this right so we have uh, basically sampling right so the m of t in continuous time is given to first sampler or sampling the process is called sampling and then it is given to quantizer and then it is given to encoder okay so these are the basic parts in transmitter of PCM right so we know that uh, M of T that is continuous time okay is con converted into discrete time by using sampling okay so you will get a sampled signal like this right so this is again quantize it to so what does quantizer do quantizer okay so each and every, in quantizer each and every sample is rounded off is rounded off to its nearest quantization level quantization level so number of quantization levels each and every point which I am writing here is very important number of quantization levels depends on depends on encoder depends on encoder okay so if uh, the encoder is n bit encoder n bit encoder okay so if it is n bit encoder okay so the PCM is also called n bit PCM so we'll call that PCM based on so based on encoder number of bits n so we'll call that as n bit PCM that means each quantization levels if each quantization level is converted into two bits suppose two bit two bit encoder that is each quantization level is converted into two bits then it is called as two bit PCM if each quantization is converted into three bits then it is called as three bit PCM okay so n bits is called as n bit PCM and therefore if you have n bit PCM number of quantization levels number of quantization levels should be equal to 2 power n that is represented by l number of quantization levels l is equal to 2 power n this is very important which you have to remember okay so l is equal to 2 power n so if it is n bit encoder then you will have uh, uh, each uh, sampled value is converted into n bits therefore number of quantization levels is 2 power n suppose take an example of uh, n is equal to 2 ok n is equal to 2 and uh, therefore number of quantization levels is 2 square which is equal to 4 4 quantization levels ok suppose take an example of m of t like this okay so the maximum value here is 8 volts I am taking it as 8 volts and the minimum value here is 0 volts so the range of M of T is from 0 to 8 volts that range is called as dynamic range the range is called as dynamic range okay so we will call this as dr dynamic range which is equal to v max minus v min 
okay so some new terms will come in between so you have to remember those terms so dynamic range we'll call that as dynamic range that is v max minus v min of given message signal is called as dynamic range this l is called as quantization level n is called as n bit encoder and hence it is called as n bit pcm okay so now the uh, amplitude values are from 0 to 8 volts and for this example only i am taking a two bit encoder that is the quantization levels are four in number so how can we divide that into four quantization levels so first is zero holes the ground value okay and the highest value here is eight holes so in between you have to divide that into four levels quantized levels so I am dividing like this. So this will be 2 volts, this will be 4 volts, this will be 6 volts and the final is 8 volts. Now this is one level, this is the second level and this is the third level and this is your fourth level. So totally we have four levels like this. So L is equal to four means like this we are going to have. That is any sampled value. So here this, there will be sampled values, yes or no? So when you have sampled values, you will have different range. When you sample the signals, that is from uh, this message signal, I'm talking about this message signal. If you sample, so you'll get different values from zero to eight, yes or no? So you'll get different values like this. like this okay so if you draw again you'll get the same message signal suppose you can draw like this as well okay so you'll have different amplitudes here the uh, suppose it will be again uh, uh, 2.3 volts 2.8 uh, sorry 4.6 volts 8 volts 6.2 volts 2.3 volts and suppose again uh, 2.1 volt or anything okay so you'll have this different values like this so output of this sampling will have different values so what does this quantization level tells you is if any value is from 0 to 2 volts so generally we will take the center of this center of this value that is 1 volt as the quantized value so this is called as quantized value okay so here also the center of the step which is 3 volts the center so from 2 to 4 volts the center of the step will be 3 volts from 4 to 6 volts the center of the step is 5 volts sorry 5 volts okay so here you have 7 volts so these four are called as quantization levels okay these four values are called as quantization levels quantization levels that means if you have 2.3 old if you have a sample of value 2.3 old so 2.3 volt will fall under this category second level yes or no so any value from 2 to 4 old any value it may be of any value from 2 to 4 volt it is quantized that is it is rounded off to 3 volts it is rounded off to 3 volts now that means this 2.3 volts is converted into 3 volts suppose if you have an amplitude of 6.2 volts 6.2 volts 6.2 volts fall under this category so any value of 6.2 volts will be quantized to 7 volts okay so this is called as quantization this this process is called as quantization okay so these values these values are called as decision boundaries decision boundaries that is they are going to divide decide the boundary for the quantized value and these values are called as quantization levels okay so this incremented value that is from 0 to 2 volts so this incremented value is called as step size 
okay so the size of this quantization level is called as step size so this is also called as step size okay so this is step size so in this particular example step size is equal to 2 volts step size is equal to 2 volts because the difference between 6 and 4 is 2 volts 8 and 6 is 2 volts okay such type of uh, quantizer where step size is fixed step size generally will represent it with delta value okay so if uh, this step size which is uh, fixed then that is called as uniform quantizer uniform quantizer if uh, the step size is not fixed the step size is not fixed then it is called as non uniform quantizer non uniform quantizer okay so understood how this quantizer works so quantizer uh, quantizes based on the levels here so these are the levels which we have to take so which we are going to take so 0 volts 2 volts here 4 volts because we require number of levels as 4 because we have taken encoder as 2 suppose if you have taken encoder as 3 encoder as 3 then number of quantization levels are 8 in number so then step size will become 1 volt that's all so we will take from 0 to 1 right next is from 1 to 2 2 to 4 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 and 7 to 8 totally you will have 8 levels 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so totally 8 levels will be there then step size will be 1 volt okay so it is purely based number of quantization levels purely based on this encoder only okay so if encoder is of 2 bit encoder then the step size is high if the encoder is of 3 bit encoder then the step size is 1 volt which is low when compared to the previous case okay so the number of levels and the step size depends only on encoder value okay right so what is the function of encoder is it is a a to d converter a to d converter so what does it do is it will allocates it will allocates the uh, digital value for this quantized relation level so it will allocate like this so if it is a 2 bit encoder so it will allocate 0 0 for 1 volt 0 1 for 3 volt 1 0 for 5 volt and 1 1 for 7 volt okay so if you if your sampler values if your sampler values are 2.3 6.2 and uh, uh, 4.3 and 1.2 volts respectively then what will encoder do so 2.3 2.3 falls under this category so it is quantized to 2, 3 volts so its corresponding uh, digital value is 0 1 next 6.2 6.2 falls under this category and it is quantized to 7 volts and its corresponding digital value is 1 1 right so next is 4.3 so 4.3 falls under this category its quantized value is 5 volts and digital value is 10 similarly 1.2 falls under this category so it is quantized to 1 volt and its digital value is 00, zero. so now we are going to have digital values and that digital values are represented using rectangular pulses so first is 0 so you'll have 0 then you have 1 1 1 so on so 0 1 1 1 again 1 then 0 then all zeros only 0 0 0 so this is the digital signal so this is the rectangular pulse which you up which you will obtain at the output of encoder circuit okay so this is the process of quantization and encoding okay so the new terms which you have to remember is decision boundaries quantization levels dynamic range number of quantization levels all these values you have to remember okay so i will now i will introduce some more new con new terms also regarding pcm 
okay so next we'll see uh, the quantization so this already we have seen right so if uh, any value is quantized between 6 volts and 8 volts it is quantized to 7 volts and encoder will encode it to 1 1 digital data okay so let me take some sampled values like uh, 1.8 2.7, 5.6, and 6.2 and 8 volts like this. Okay. So if my sampled value is 1.8, then what is the quantized value? S yes, represents the sampled value. Okay. Q represents quantized value. And E is encoder output. A represents encoder output now tell me so if uh, your sampled value is 1.8 so 1.8 falls under this category because 1.8 lies from 0 to 2 volts so any value from 0 to volts is quantized to 1 volt so quantized value is 1 volt and encoder output is 0 0 similarly 2.7 volts 2.7 volts fall under this category right it is between 2 and 4 volts and any value is quantized to 3 volts okay and its encoder output is 0 1 5.6 falls under the third category okay so third quantization level and its quantized value is 5 volts and its corresponding encoder output is 6.2 falls under the fourth category that is fourth quantization level so it is encoded to 7 volts and corresponding encoder output is 1 1 right so next is 8 volts 8 volts falls under the last category only it is quantized to 7 volts and encoder output is 1 1 if you observe here okay if you observe here so there is decrease in amplitude okay so decrease in amplitude here 1.8 is converted into 1 volt and for some of the samples 2.7 is converted into 3 volts okay so for each and every sample this is the actual amplitude right these are the sampled values means actual amplitudes and these are quantized amplitudes these are quantized amplitudes for each and every sample we are changing the amplitudes we are changing the amplitudes why because in order to make it a constant because encoder can take only constant values it cannot take uh, values like this okay fractional values cannot be taken so values if you have one volt it can be directly converted into zero zero if you have three volts it is converted into zero one five volts one zero seven volts one one so like this we can program an encoder okay but we cannot program encoder to take the values from zero to two volts as zero zero okay so thereby what we are having is for each and every sample I am writing here for each and every sample due to quantization due to the process of quantization an error an error is being introduced an error is being introduced such type of error is called as quantization error the error due to quantization process so that is why it is called as quantization error so it is represented by QE understood so each and every sample since we are rounding off to nearest integer value nearest integer value so thereby you are decreasing either decreasing or increasing in some cases we are decreasing now so in this case we are decreasing in this case we are increasing but either increasing or decreasing you are changing the actual amplitudes 
So when you are changing the actual amplitudes to quantized amplitudes, there is an error which is introduced in each and every sample due to the process of quantization. So, and such type of error is called as quantization error. Very, very important quantization error. We have a lot of concepts to be learned on this quantization error. Okay, we'll learn one by one. Okay, no problem. Understood? So what is quantization error in each and every case? So in this case, now actual amplitude is 1.8. Now quantized amplitude is 1 volt. So quantization error is 0 0.8 volts. Okay. Now 2.7 volt is the sampled value and 3 volt is the quantized value. So what is quantization error? It is minus 0 0.3 volts. In this case, it is 0 0.6 volts. In this case, it is minus 0 0.8 volts. In this case, it is 1 volt. So, always remember the formula for quantization error is sampled value minus quantized value. That is sampled amplitude minus quantized amplitude. Okay. So, because actual amplitude is what you get. Actual amplitude is what you expected the output of uh, this encoder. But what we are giving is quantized value. So error means actual value minus the taken value. That is the uh, considered value. Okay. So that is why it is always equal to sampled value minus quantized value. So 1.8 minus 1 is 0 0.8. 2.7 minus 3 is minus 0 0.3 volts. 5.6 minus 5 is 0 0.6 volt. 6.2 minus 7 is minus 0 0.8 volts. And 8 volts minus 7 volts is 1 volt. Okay. So this quantization error may be positive or negative. So if you take a quantization value so quantization value maximum value maximum value of quantization error is equal to 1 by 2 into step size 1 by 2 into step size this is very important okay so if you observe here the maximum value is 1 volt maximum qe value here we are obtaining is 1 volt so what is uh, the step size here? So step size is delta is equal to 2 volts. So step size for this problem, for this particular problem is 2 volts. And half of this step size is half into 2 volts, which is equal to 1 volt. So that is the maximum value of the quantization error. Okay. You can check for any value. You cannot exceed between this 1 volt. Okay, so since uh, quantization error is extending for negative and positive values, so quantization error range, range of quantization error is from minus del by 2 to plus del by 2. Okay, its minimum value is minus 1 and maximum value is plus 1. So QV max is equal to plus 1. So 1 by 2 into 2 volts is plus 1 volt. So maximum value is plus 1 volt and minimum value is minus 1 volt and QV ranges from minus del by 2 to del by 2. Okay. So hope you have understood this quantization error very clearly. Okay. So if you have any doubts, you can comment in my comment section. I will clear all your doubts. Okay.